Dear Dr. Martin Luther King, we are living in your legacy and your message endures in our game. I believe that today, Dr. King, you'd warn us that we have not reached the mountaintop. Injustice remains. Your legacy is hope and belief, but also radical change. In the game behind the game, we still must overcome. We welcome you to our ACC Network basketball coverage presented this afternoon by Subway. They've been lined up since 9 this morning to get inside Little John Coliseum. The league-leading Tigers are 6-0 and 14-3 and overall. And here comes number 24, Duke, arguably off one of its best performances on Wednesday night against Pitt. West Durham, Dan Bonner, welcome to our coverage. Should be a great ball game here today. And we get to see the league leader in conference play in scoring and rebounding in the fifth year's player, Hunter Tyson. Hunter Tyson West has had a fabulous year so far for Clemson, particularly in ACC play. In fact, you could make the argument that he's the leading candidate at the moment for the ACC player of the year. He scores inside and outside, he defends, he passes. He is a big, big reason why the Tigers are 6-0 for the first time ever. All right, so it's a veteran for Kyle, or for a Brad Brownell. It's a rookie in Kyle Filipowski for John Shire. And a rookie who has been impressive since the first moment he stepped on the court. This young man, Wes, at 28 and 15 the last time out. He can score outside, he can score inside, he drives the ball to the basket. He's a really good defender. Guy who's hard to guard and fun to watch. Clemson's won six straight, 10 of its last 11. Duke's won it, its last two after a disappointing effort in Raleigh 10 days ago. Three of four and seven of their last nine. And the other night they came from 11 down at halftime to be Pitt. Meanwhile, Clemson held off pesky Louisville here on Wednesday night. Proctor, the freshman, runs the offense. Jeremy Roach sidelined again for a third straight game. The other rookie, Whitehead, now a fellow freshman, Mitchell. And here's Proctor on the drive against Galloway, traveled with it. Wes, we're going to see two of the best defensive teams in the ACC here today. That was a great job by Clemson, just moving on defense, preventing penetration. And the Tiger lineup has not deviated since the injury to Alex Hemingway. And that means Hunter Galloway, the transfer from Boston College at 25 years of age. Hunter Tyson, who we mentioned, the sophomore in Shefflin, and then the junior, P.J. Hall. Well, and the debate going on right here, Wes, is where should the possession arrow be pointed? And they ruled that Hunter Tyson had the ball after the jump ball, and then Duke stole it. So right. since Hunter Tyson had the ball, the possession arrow needs to favor Duke, and that's what they just got straightened out. Well, off the turnover, here is Tyson's first touch with Mitchell defending. Duke opens man to man. And Clemson does a really good job moving without the basketball. They run a lot of set plays. Galloway for three. Front rim miss. Hunter gives the Tigers a second chance. Saves it to Hall. P.J. jump hook. Huh. Right over the top of the Blue Devils. Really a nice drive down the lane, Wes, and you're reluctant to come and help because Clemson shoots the three so well. Proctor, Whitehead, Mitchell, Filipowski. Four freshmen and the grad transfer, Ryan Young, in the lineup for John Shire. Filipowski against Hall. Left it short. Tyson will die for it and tried to make the save, hit the far sideline in front of referee Burt Smith. It will stay with the Blue Devils. It's got to be a little frustrating for Brad Brownell and the Clemson Tigers because every rebound that you have a chance to get against this Duke team, you need to grab, and Clemson just couldn't control it. Mitchell back for Proctor, who's done an outstanding job filling Roach's leadership role in the last couple of games. Whitehead, a long three, and the rebound for Hall. P.J. Hall, a couple of injuries, sidelined him the offseason and most of last year. Here is Hunter. Proctor, nice job fighting through there, Dan. 
The Hunters sort of stumbled a couple of times here early in the game, Wes. And that ball hit Filipowski on Hunter's attempted pass. Duke couldn't save it. It'll stay with the Tigers with eight to shoot. He knows he's in trouble, and I don't think he was trying to throw it off Filipowski's arm, but he did, so a break for the Tigers. Inbounds and inside, Hall is fouled. Clemson had to be patient to get the ball inbounds. Whitehead commits the personal his first. Boy, what power by P.J. Hall. This is a tough catch on the inside, and Wes, he does not collect himself. He goes straight up in the air. If he waits, then the defense is able to get in position, but as it was, the defense is a little off balance and committed the foul. Had a foot injury at the end of the regular season a year ago, an off-season knee injury, and knocks down the free throw. 79% at the line. Clemson is the number one free throw shooting team in ACC play at almost 87%. Look at the top six, the Tigers and Blue Devils right there at the front of the line. Second one on the rim. Now, Wes, that's one of the reasons why you're 6-0 in the ACC. You take advantage of your opportunities, and Clemson's been getting a lot of them at the free throw line. They attack. Two minutes in here at Little John. Sellout house watching the Tigers and Blue Devils. Young with Shefflin defending. Tried to reverse it up, couldn't finish. Tough defense at the rim. Here's Hunter. Dukes missed its first three shots. Galloway had it deflected. Now Shefflin. Here's Tyson for three. Off the back iron. Tyson shoots 50% in ACC play from out there. Proctor. He drives the offense for Coach Shire. Mitchell trying to find a path on Tyson. Clemson's really good at cutting off those driving lanes. Young got loose and scores. Tigers lost Ryan Young at the post. He drives easily for Duke's first basket. Well, your post guy drives all the way from the top of the key to the basket. Now, don't be surprised you see to both ends today, right? Well, there's some pretty skilled big guys, that's for sure. Bounce pass, Hall. Jump shot at the foul line. P.J. Hall's got all five Tiger points, Dan. And he's really got a great mid-range game, Wes. And he can score close to the basket, as we saw. He can shoot the three, but that little jump shot makes him so effective. Mitchell thought about the three on Tyson. Resets on the drive. Left it on the rim. Hall the rebound. Brad Brownell out in front of his bench, and there goes Hunter. He left it on the front of the rim. But Brad Brownell not only out in front of his bench, he's sprinting down the court. Yep. Back door deflected away by Galloway. They go to the deck. Brevin tried to make the save and rip it away, and we're going to get a hell ball. And back to your point earlier, the hell ball will stay with the Blue Devils. All right, so that's obviously the change they there made go. right at the beginning of the game is important. We talked about Clemson's defense, and this is a nice job by Galloway to just get his hand on the ball. And then this is the kind of thing I think we're going to see the entire game. These teams are scrappy, tough. They're down on the court after the ball. Early substitutions both ways. Grandison has come on the floor for the Blue Devils. Middlebrooks and Beadle have taken the deck for the Tigers for the first time. And there's a foul on Shefflin against the Filipowski drive. Ian's first. It's number one on the Tigers. And that, that is a hard matchup for Clemson, no matter who's playing out there, because Filipowski is so good with that first dribble. He can put that ball down and get by you. And Shefflin just isn't used to guarding a guy that good with the basketball that far from the basket. Third Tiger substitutions, the freshman R.J. Godfrey onto the floor. Corner for Proctor. Winding around, blocked out of there by Beadle. Four minutes old, seven total points so far. Here's Galloway launching. Back rim miss, Middlebrooks collects. Grandison knocked it away. Skip pass for Tyson, he stepped out of bounds, and that will get us to a timeout. Turnover number two on the Tigers. But Clemson and Duke are underway at Little John. It's a three-point game early. Brad Brownell's 13th season at Clemson, and the Tigers are off to their best start in ACC history, and he looks for career win 400 today. And they already the Tigers' all-time leader in victories, and 
You take Brad Brownell from Evansville, Indiana, the son of a coach, and then you go to the Duke bench. And here's the only Duke player with 2,000 or more points, 500 rebounds, 400 assists, 253s, and 200 steals, Dan, in John Shire, who's done a marvelous job in following his mentor, Mike Krzyzewski. Uh, and that's, those are big, big shoes to fill, and he's really done a nice job so far. You're right, Rex. Filipowski turns. Godfrey bothers it. They battle at the rack. RJ the rebound. I think you got to push against the Blue Devils. Beetle a look away. Middlebrooks the dunk. What a delivery of the rock by Josh Beetle. And what a great defensive play by Godfrey. He actually blocked that ball from Filipowski. Jalen Blake's on the phone for the first time. Filipowski a three. Rolls in. 16th three of the year for the seven-foot freshman from Westtown, New York. You know, you don't want to give up the dribble penetration, but you got to stay a little bit closer to Filipowski on that particular play. Middlebrooks. Here's Beetle. Now Hunter. Clemson really wants to get it inside. Blakes is a tough matchup for Chase Hunter, who will take Blakes on the drive, put it up. Middlebrooks took it from behind Grandison. Three to shoot. Out front, Beetle. Lefty launch. Missed oh. badly. Two-point game. What a defensive step by the Blue Devils, huh? Blakes all the way through. Middlebrooks blocked it. Boy, you can earn your keep going to the basket, Boy. Dan. <laughs> you better not hope for a whistle, Wes. You got to be strong when you get it in there. Hunter thought about shooting over the screen. He'll drive on Lively. It got deflected out and last touched by the Tigers. Turnover number three on Clemson. Wes Hunter looks to me like he's pressing a little bit here early, and that has been a problem. But Beetle, this in transition, a great pass and a great job by Middlebrooks to run the floor. And this is just a great example of Filipowski. He's so versatile. Godfrey got just a little too far away from him. I think you'd rather have Blake's driving to the basket than Filipowski shooting three. Coach Shire plays both Lively and Filipowski on the floor now with Grandison, Blake's, and also the rookie Mark Mitchell's come back out there for the Blue Devils. Now Duke is very flexible with the lineups that they can play with. Filipowski on the drive. Godfrey battling. Got it back. Scores and draws the foul. Five for Filipowski of the Blue Devils. Seven. And the foul is on R.J. Godfrey. It's his first. It's the second on the Tigers. Well, Godfrey's in the game because they hope that he can handle Filipowski out on the perimeter a little bit. But that's typical Filipowski, what you see right there. He's got such great balance. He misses the shot, but he goes right back up and gets the rebound. Two of four from the floor already. Couple of rebounds. And can't hit the free throw. Hunter the rebound. Hall and Shefflin have come back for Clemson during the timeout. So has Galloway. P.J. out front against Lively. Well, that's great defense. Beetle now, 10 to shoot. Josh in trouble inside. Got to find an outlet, turned it over to Lively. That's just dribbling it into trouble, Wes. Uh, yep. Beetle's not doing anything against Lively inside. Four turnovers for Clemson. Lively almost traveled, did travel, says Brian O'Connell. Turnover Brad, number two on Duke. That's a turnover by Duke, but Brad Brown is really upset because that's the one thing you can't do. you got to know who's in the game. Lively is not going to step out and shoot the long jump shot, but he is going to take the ball to the basket for a dunk, and they just left him on that screen and roll play. Chauncey Wiggins has checked into the ball game. 6'10 freshman from Grayson, Georgia. Wiggins played one minute at Louisville, six minutes last Saturday at Pitt. Hunter had it rattle out. Hall recovers and scores. Seven for P.J. Hall of Clemson's nine. I think Chase Hunter has to see the ball go in the basket, West to get comfortable. Offensive foul on Filipowski. 
Dan, you've been talking about Shefflin's contributions really at both ends for Brownell's team. Well, we saw before that Shefflin didn't move his feet properly, but this time he does a great job anticipating, establishes legal guarding position, and he's allowed to move to maintain it as long as he doesn't move towards the dribbler. And he just got right in Filipowski's path. And Wes, I'm telling you, Filipowski is going to drive the ball. So that is a great defensive play. Hunter with Shefflin defended by Grandison. Here is Wiggins to catch. Chauncey inside, back out for Hall's three. Fell off the back rim. Clemson an outstanding three-point shooting team, West, but not so far today. 0 for 5 from out there. The Australian freshman Proctor hesitates, tried to bounce, lively in against Hall, thrown away to Shefflin. Turned over by the Blue Devils. Almost eight minutes gone, first half. Hard-fought ball game as we expected with the Tigers and Blue Devils. Hall drives, can't score it. They crash the glass, lively the rebound. Proctor, here's Blakes. Boy, Proctor hit some big threes the other night, Dan. And he's a guy who's been struggling from three-point range. Yep, finished with 14 and five. Blakes trying to reroute with 10 to shoot. All the way through, here's Mitchell, lefty three at the top. Good for Mark, no, it's a two. Burt Smith says a two for Mark Mitchell. Ties the game at nine. They'll look at it, Wes, yep. at the timeout. So for the moment, we're tied at nine. Hunter, now Hall on the block. Over the top of Lively and draws the foul. Derek Lively's first, it's the third on Duke. And P.J. Hall will be at the free throw line when we continue from Little John. Thank goodness the Tigers have Hall. He's got seven of the nine early here at home. So Tie game, ACC Network Basketball presented by Subway. Dan, we're, we thought it might be hard fought. It really is a hard fought game here in the first nine minutes. Wes, we also thought that three point baskets are going to end up being a factor. Clemson, you can see there, leads the ACC in conference play in shooting threes, and they're 0 for 5. Yeah. Duke has made one out of two, and Duke does not rely as heavily on the three as Clemson does. And Duke, defensively, they are known for their ability to defend out there, and they've done it very well so far. B.J. Hall to the line to shoot a pair of free throws after the first foul on the Philadelphia freshman Derek Lively got us to the timeout. Filipowski, Young, Mitchell, Whitehead, and Proctor are on the floor for the Blue Devils as Hall misses his second in a row, and he's West, one of his first three. Wes, we've played almost nine minutes, and there's only two Clemson players who've even scored in yeah. the game. Hall has seven, and Middlebrooks has two. Hunter Tyson hasn't scored. Yep, Shefflin, Tyson, Galloway, Hunter, and P.J. Hall. Picks up his eighth point on his second free throw. Puts Clemson in front. Backcourt pressure now offered by the Tigers against this Blue Devil set. All they want to do is slow Duke down, and they want to make Duke throw the ball back, but the Blue Devils didn't. They threw it right to the middle of the court. Yep. Proctor shooting over the Filipowski screen, and look at the box out on Filipowski by Shefflin. Well, Duke had 24 offensive rebounds the other night. They only have one so far tonight. On the drive, Galloway leaves it for Hall. Short jumper, falls in. 10 for P.J. Hall, fourth straight double-figure game. He's got 10 of the 12. <laughs> yep. Clemson's got to figure out a way to get Tyson and Hunter going. Whitehead with Galloway defending. Here's Young, now Mitchell. Gets Hall, baseline jumper good. Tough shot. Nice result for the freshman from Kansas City. Mitchell is a guy who just makes plays. Yep. Yes. He drove P.J. Hall off with the dribble and then made a tough shot. One-point lead for Clemson. Here's Tyson. Double clutch the three, almost turned it over, touched it twice, and that's a double dribble. That's a great Fifth turnover on Clemson. Great recovery by Mitchell. Yep. Mark Mitchell, last two ball games, averaging a dozen points, seven and a half rebounds. But Dan, I would counter his defense has also helped Duke immensely. And he just makes plays, Wes. Uh, 
you know, he may go for a while and not score any points, but then he looked down at the score sheet and he's got a almost a double-double. Whitehead, a bad miss, puts Hunter in transition all the way to the basket in one. Wow. What a move by Hunter for his first points. Hunter has showed himself this year, Wes, to be so explosive. And this time he just gets out in, he just gets out in transition and he's very confident at that. He basically goes right up the back of Mitchell. And you know, if you're Mitchell in that situation, you just got to get out of the way. It cost him his second foul with 9.38 to play here in the first half. And Chase Hunter's got a chance to go to the line to cap a three-point play. Wes, well, so if you're a guy like Mitchell and you think you can line him up for an attempt at a blocked shot, then you try that. But if you're just going to run underneath him, you get out of there so you don't get that foul. Yep. Middlebrooks is checked in to join Shefflin and Tyson. And here is Chase Hunter, ninth best free throw shooter in the ACC at 82%. First points of the game. Grandison has replaced Mitchell. Jacob the other night, six points on a pair of threes against Pittsburgh. Filipowski, another one. Rebound for Middlebrooks. Here's Hunter. Thought about it. Filipowski to switch defensively. Galloway trying to win on the dribble. Spins off, and Brevin Galloway's that was really a struggling. Shot. Yeah. Four point lead for the Tigers. Young shoots a pass to Filipowski. They return it on the block. He'll turn on Shefflin and score. That's a great job by Duke to just keep going back inside. Seven for Filipowski of Duke's 13. Hunters eyes a three. Rebound Filipowski on the box out of Shefflin. In ACC play, Wes, Hunter simply has not shot the three very well. Yep. Five rebounds for Filipowski to go with the seven points here early, too, Dan. Here's Whitehead. Now Grandison. Back to Young with nine to shoot on Middlebrooks. And Middlebrooks going to get called for the foul here. He and Young starting to jockey for position. It'll cost the 6'11 sophomore his first. Third on Clemson. Well, Middlebrooks, he's okay if he's receiving contact, but he moves into him. Yeah. You know, there is contact there, yes, but it's is it incidental contact? Well, unless one of the guys gets displaced, the referees aren't going to blow the whistle, but when Middlebrooks pushes back <laughs> and knocks Young a couple of feet off, his, off the block there, that's a displacement. Dylan Hunter has checked into the ballgame for Clemson. He's been averaging just under six minutes their last three ball games. He's the younger brother of Chase Hunter, who, by the way, he replaced in the lineup for Brad Brown there. There's the drive, Filipowski, Young battling for it. They'll go to the deck, and we're going to get a hell ball that will belong to the Tigers. We'll get a timeout out of all of this. Tell you what, we're not counting for the knockdowns here in the first <laughs> half, are we? Holy smokes. 15 13 at Clemson. I don't know if P.J. Hall's 100% Dan from his offseason knee injury, but he's pretty good here in the first half. Well, he's been 100% whatever he's trying to do <laughs> this afternoon, Wes. He's been the main factor. He's got four field goals. He's made a couple of free throws. He's got three rebounds in the game. He's, I mean, he has basically been the offense for Clemson. Everybody else has struggled. Tigers need some help, though. Well, Hall Hunter, needs some help. Hunter Tyson has yet to score. Brevin Galloway has yet to score. Yeah, Chase Hunter had a three-point play a moment ago. And that's that's the only scoring that Chase Hunter has done. Yeah, Dylan Hunter, the younger brother, on the floor now for the Tigers with Shefflin Galloway, Hunter Tyson, and P.J. Hall. And backcourt pressure offered at least early by the Blue Devils on the possession. And you run time off the clock here. There's 20 seconds on the 30-second shot clock, and Clemson just getting into the offense. They turn it over. Galloway turned it over, trying to find Tyson. Turnover number six on Clemson. And Proctor gets it inside to Young. Filipowski lost it on the way up. And so Duke kind of gives it right back. 
Wes Young is looking to pass when he gets the ball inside. I think if he powers it up right there, he probably gets a gets fouled and goes to the line for two, maybe even a three-point play. Galloway. Here's Hall. Long three. Ho! Oh, look out. 13 for Hall. But Hall in ACC play shoots 42% from out there. You cannot give him that much room. Whitehead, nice move behind the back. Terrific <laughs> basket for the freshman. Dariq Whitehead is special. Wow. Galloway's out there thinking, where'd he go? Yep. Here's Shefflin around the post against Filipowski and reversed oh. it back up and in. He First around. points for Ian Shefflin. Came around and went back, Wes. Five-point game. Six and a half to play. Filipowski. Grandison. Back to Filipowski. Returns for Grandison's three. Off the mark. Young the rebound. Second chance for the Blue Devils and Ryan Young on the board for the second time. Young just beat P.J. Hall that time to the basket. Hall's trying to block him out. They got tangled up and he fell down. And that's the first time that Duke has con you know, converted an offensive rebound. There's Hall setting the screen for Hunter. P.J. feeling it again. Nope, back rim miss. Blue Devils come away with it. Proctor with Galloway defending. Whitehead working against Dylan Hunter. Here's Proctor trying to beat Galloway on the drive into traffic, fouled, and the basket for Tyrese Proctor. First points of the game for the freshman. The foul will be on Brevin Galloway. It'll be his first. It's the fourth on the Tigers. But well, this is just a powerful move to the basket here. Good quickness. And West, what did we say? You can't be looking for the referee to blow the whistle. You've got to go and be strong in there. And Proctor not only got the foul, but he gets to go to the free throw. I got the basket, but he gets to go to the free throw line as well. He has been really impressive over the last couple games. Well, and it's all come in the wake of Jeremy Roach's toe injury and the re-aggravation of that. He's missing today. There is Roach, the junior from Leesburg, Virginia. John Shire would hope to have him back in the lineup, would like to have him back a week from Saturday against Miami at Cameron. Blue Devils don't play during the week in the ACC slate coming up. Tied at 20. Here's Chase Hunter trying to get to the basket. Knocked out by Whitehead. It was 10 to shoot. It stays with the Tigers. Well, so Hunter Tyson so far has had no room at all. And, and Galloway and Chase Hunter seem to be, they have to relax in the game a little bit. Hunter Tyson front rim miss on a long three with Whitehead defending. Yeah, but he, he's been making those wins. Yep, sure has. Tough first half for Hunter Tyson. Here's Proctor backing out against Godfrey. Got a mismatch inside. Yep, sure do. Filipowski's got Dylan Hunter around him. There's a three ball and Proctor's feeling it. Six in a row now for Tyrese Proctor and Duke's in front for the first time by three. Timeout on the floor taken by the Tigers here. Six straight by Proctor. The conventional three-point play and then a three-point shot from the left wing. Duke by three on an 8-0 run. Well, don't forget, following our coverage here at Little John Coliseum, off to the JMA Wireless Dome tonight. Notre Dame and Syracuse. Jay Alter, Malcolm Huckabee stand by for our coverage at 7 o'clock Eastern time on ACC Network and always available to you on the ESPN app. Be hard-pressed to find 40 minutes of basketball as intense as what we've seen here early uh, unfolding at Clemson. Wes, this has really been intense, and Duke's defense has done a great job. Hunter Tyson has only attempted two shots. He yep. just hasn't had any room, and they have made both Chase Hunter and Brevin Galloway look very uncomfortable. Inbounds to Dylan Hunter, who plays with his older brother, Tyson Hall, and R.J. Godfrey, who handles at the top. Entry for P.J. Hall against Lively. Over the top of Lively for P.J. Hall. Wow. What a tough shot that is. I can't tell you how tough a shot that is. That's a seven-foot shot blocker. 23-22 and a long three goes begging off the arm of Whitehead. 
Hunter front court. Somebody else, though, Dan, is needed for Brownell's team here. Can't be just 24, can it? Missed badly there. Here's Blakes trying to find an alley for Lively. The catch, the shot, and the foul. R.J. Godfrey, I think, just picked up his second. He did. So Mitchell and Godfrey are the two players in the ball game for Duke and Clemson, respectively, with a pair. And a couple of free throws for Derek Lively coming up. Wes, one of the key things in this game, obviously, is you can't turn it over. But another thing is you can't take bad shots. And that time, P.J. Hall thought that he had a mismatch inside against Proctor. But when Filipowski came over to double team, Hall's got to recognize that. Oh! Three ball from Proctor, who's feeling it now. Tyrese Proctor has opened things up. He's got nine straight for the Blue Devils. Wesson going into that pit game, he was shooting the three very poorly. Sure was. He's helped Duke to a four-point lead. Not anymore. Here's Hunter. Got Lively in the air. Here's Tyson. Can't pull the trigger on Filipowski. Shefflin will. Spins out. He's not the guy you want shooting threes. Here's Whitehead. Dumps to Lively for the dunk. Great ball movement. First field goal for Derek Lively. And Burt Smith's going to call timeout here. Media timeout. We'll take it. The under four. So we'll step aside. It's been all Duke. It's been all Tyrese Proctor here at Little John. Thirteen to two run by the Blue Devils have carried them to their largest lead of this first half. Here with three nineteen to go, and Dan John Shire's team playing with a lot of poise here on the road in a tough environment today. Yes, they certainly are, and they have done a couple of really good things. We said they defended the three pretty well. Clemson is one for ten, and this is the leading three-point shooting team in the ACC. But you're also getting a terrific effort from Tyrese Proctor here in the last few minutes. Well, Proctor's made two threes. Wes, coming into this game in ACC play, he'd made a total of five. We're shooting 25% from out there. Yep. Now he's got eight here in just a matter of moments. That's a big part of that run. And now some backcourt pressure for Hunter to have to deal with against Blakes. This is a huge last three minutes for the Clemson Tigers. Feels like it, right? Hunter Tyson still scoreless in this first half. Lob for Hall against Lively, who blocked it. Derek Lively wins one there after Hall got him earlier. Well, you, know, you go against a seven-foot shot blocker, that happens sometimes. Yep. Now here's Proctor. Tyrese against Galloway. Lob, Lively, the catch and flush. Four for Derek Lively. Largest lead now. It's eight. Here at the tail end of the first half for the Blue Devils. Hunter. And a foul will be called. And it will be on Jalen Blakes. Blakes is the latest in a long line of defensive stoppers on the perimeter for Duke. And it's been the Duke defense that's been the key. They finally got their offense out of low gear. Clemson's offense is still stuck there. Yep. Here's Tyson coming off a couple screens. Can't get him the ball. It's Galloway instead. Trying to find a spot in traffic. Skips for Shefflin. Attacking Filipowski. Back for Galloway. Rings the bell. 26-3 of the year for Brevin Galloway, who's had double figures in the last three. Seems like a big basket for Brownell's team. I think that's a huge basket for Clemson. And great ball movement. They moved the defense around. They didn't try to force anything. Proctor. Wheels it back out with 15 to shoot. Grandison. Filipowski turning on Shefflin. Follows his own miss. Wes, how many times have we seen him yeah. do that? He misses his shot, but he stays. His balance is so good, he goes right back up and gets his own rebound. Yeah, for his size, he's a terrific athlete. He's now got nine in the first half. Here's Hall inside. Tried to score and does and draws the foul from Lively. Second on Derek Lively will be the sixth on Duke. West suddenly that's an outstanding battle in there. Yep, really is. This is a really good pass by Shefflin. And a nice job by 
by P.J. Hall that time to collect himself. The last time, I think, when he went at Lively, he was off balance, but that time he got his balance, used that big, strong body of his. 17 in the first half for P.J. Hall. Make it 18. Dan, when he's 100% now, he's one of the five best players in this league. I don't think there's any question about that, Wes. Big sequence for the Tigers. They cut the Duke advantage to four. We step aside in Little John. Thursday night's Ladies Night on ACC Network. Number 11, NC State welcomes Miami to Reynolds Coliseum at six. And then how about number 16, Duke, and number 22, North Carolina, Carmichael Arena. Heck of a doubleheader for you. Women's basketball on ACC Network and always available on the ESPN app. Terrific first half for P.J. Hall, Dan, but got to get some help here, huh? Well, he does. And, you know, if you're the Duke Blue Devils, you're playing against Clemson. They're a very well-balanced offensive team. You got to give up something. They haven't given up any threes. Proctor misses. Kept alive. Middlebrooks. Tyson finally collects. You know, and, and they, they have defended Hunter Tyson very well. Top. Hunter Tyson hasn't hurt them. Chase Hunter hasn't hurt them. Here's Middlebrooks. Chase Hunter into traffic. Back out for Galloway. Final minute of this first half. Galloway on the drive, high off the glass and in. Boy, that's a tough shot. Sure is. Duke lead is two. Down low, Filipowski. That'll be an offensive foul. That's two on Filipowski, seven on the Blue Devils. Wes, I'm telling you, yeah, I don't know that I've seen anybody wind up like Filipowski does. Gets the ball, he turns, and he's going right to the basket. Shefflin, again, does a really good job getting himself in position, and Filipowski just leveled him. They did. And the charge drawn by Shefflin just fires up the house at Little John. It's a, it's a huge house, Wes, and that run by Duke really took the, the crowd out of the game, but they're back in it now. And Wes, we said the last three minutes was going to be really important for Clemson, and they've responded. Here's Tyson. Still hadn't scored. Exactly. Hunter thought about it. Spot up jumper. Back rim. Grandison the miss with 30 seconds to play. Duke can hold for the final shot. And it looks like John Shire setting his team to do that. Well, they've got some foul trouble they're going to have to deal with in the second half. Clemson's only got five team fouls. And here's Proctor with 11 seconds to go. Shot clock and game clock pretty congruent. Grandison thought about the three. Now for Blakes. He'll launch. And was he fouled? He was. A whistle on Brevin Galloway that will send Jalen Blakes to the line to shoot three. Wow. It's the second on Galloway and the sixth on Clemson. You know, he hits him on the way up, Wes. He's trying to put his hand in. Just get your hand up. Blake's the first. Don't forget, we've got great action all over the ACC footprint. Hashtag all the devotion. Put it on your socials when you attend an ACC event, and you may see it on ACC Network. Blake's hit both free throws. Here's the third. And it's no good. Shefflin with one second. Launches and offline. And Duke will take a four-point lead to the locker room at 34 to 30. Blue Devils got a flurry from Filipowski, a flurry from Proctor. Clemson got pretty strong 20 minutes out of P.J. Hall, Dan, to stay with it four. And we got great intensity from each of these teams. Webb, this has been very entertaining. Stay tuned. Kelsey Riggs is next. Joel Berry, Luke Hancock, and the Blue Devil Hall of Famer, my man Boo's in studio. We welcome you back. Little John Coliseum ACC Network Basketball presented by Subway. Number 24, Duke, with a four-point lead on Clemson here at halftime. Great to be with Dan Bonner, Wes Durham, and, boy, P.J. Hall practically carried Clemson in the right, first no half. No practically about it, Wes. Clemson is way out of this game. 
without the performance of P.J. Hall. He has scored inside, he's scored outside, he's rebounded the ball effectively. He's got 18 of the Clemson 30 points, and he's got seven of their 12 field goals. And Kyle Filipowski, we talked about him before the game, and while he has not scored as many points, his range of skills has really been on display. The three-point shot, his ability to get into the lane, and his uncanny ability to go get his own shot and score, he has really been a big factor. He also has seven rebounds in the game. Also, our Subway game refresh shows you the three-point game. Dukes hit three, Clemson's hit two. Hall's got one of them. The other one belongs to Galloway, Dan. Here uh, in this first you know, Hunter Tyson has not scored. He's only taken two shots. He hasn't gotten to the free throw line. Chase Hunter is one for six. And so the, the guys who've been the underpinnings for the Clemson offense all year long, with the exception of P.J. Hall, they just haven't shown up tonight. And still, Clemson only trails by four points. Duke will have the ball to start second half. Starters for both schools who began the ball game start this last 20 minutes here at Little John Coliseum. Clemson 6-0, 14-3 off to their best ACC start ever. Filipowski, offensive foul. John Shire thought Shefflin might have been moving. Filipowski picks up his third to start the half. Wes, he's allowed to move. Once you establish legal guarding position, you can move side to side or you can move backwards as long as you don't move in to the dribbler. And Filipowski's just got to learn that you cannot lower that shoulder and try to pull through there. Here's Shefflin down the hall. Young defends P.J. Whitehead coming to help on the double team. Got to find somebody. Traveled with it. That's a really good job because the guy they left was Ian Shefflin. Yeah. And Shefflin's not going to hurt you from out on the perimeter. Seventh turnover by Clemson. Remember, they had a flurry of them early. and kind of calmed down a little bit. But now, they, each, I, now each school's giving it away on their opening possession. Wes, I think with Clemson having to battle back in that first half, the way they start the second half is going to be very important. Three ball from out on the right. No good for Mitchell. Knocked out of there last touch by the Blue Devils and Filipowski. For the most part, Clemson has done a pretty good job with their defensive boards. Duke has four offensive rebounds, two of them by Filipowski collecting his own misses. Well, Brad Brownell pretty candid with us this morning when he said, look, we don't rebound, we're not, we don't have a chance. Duke's that good at that particular discipline. And John Shire knows it was a huge factor Wednesday night against Pittsburgh, especially in the second half. When the Blue Devils came from 11 down. How about Tyson sliding through? First basket for Hunter Tyson. Comes with 19 minutes to go in the ballgame. Wes, uh, that almost missed because I think he was so surprised. That's as open as he's been. Mitchell in the lane. Kick for Proctor. Back rim miss of a three. Galloway had it. It got slapped around. Here is Filipowski trying to clean it up. They scramble off the miss there. Duke's got a new 20. Third chance for the Blue Devils. Filipowski on the drive. Out of bounds. Foul by Hall. No, Shefflin. Beg your pardon. Second on Ian Shefflin, the first of the half on Clemson. Wes, you were just talking about it, the offensive rebounding. If you're Clemson and you've got the chance to get the ball, you got to get it. Shefflin comes over trying to block the shot. Whitehead turns, air ball, the short Ooh. jumper. Hunter tried to beat Whitehead down the floor. Now he'll spin him through, little soft runner. Filipowski the rebound. Wes, I, Hunter again, he's just a little loose with the basketball. Just looks like he's trying to go too fast out there. Young to Filipowski, wide open for the hammer. 11 now for Kyle Filipowski. We've lost the ball. That uh, ball ended up, the dunk was so hard. <laughs> One of our camera folks took a header in the end zone. Filipowski just running the court, nobody finds him. Yeah, he's a rebound away from his eighth double-double. Would be his second in a row. Hall, here's Tyson driving by Whitehead for the dunk. I'd like to welcome Hunter Tyson to Little John Coliseum. Well, Tyson has, in the, this half, Wes, he has started out very aggressively. You just have to be hard to guard. You can't stand around and let people defend you. Young trying to find a seam on Hall. 
Now Whitehead off a young screen. Backdoor cut, scoop and score for Ryan Young. But he can really catch it in traffic. That was a very difficult pass. Third field goal for Young, four-point Duke lead. Hunter, skip for Shefflin. Last time Hall touched it, there was a double team. Here's P.J. squaring and scoring. 20 for Hall on his eighth field goal, had his best half as a Tiger when he scored 18 in the opening 20 minutes here today. Whitehead had it poked away. Proctor, underhand scoop, Filipowski's three. Young the rebound, lost it, it'll belong to Clemson. Grandison will get Derek Whitehead's spot. Meanwhile, P.J. Hall's trying to pick up where he left off in the first half. Well, you notice they leave, and so that gives P.J. Hall. That's the old Jack Sigma move there, that reverse <laughs> pivot and the short jump shot. Yeah, okay. The kids can Google Jack Sigma. It's S-I-K-M-A. Turned over by the Tigers in the half court. And Brad Brown now, it's turned over because Hunter Tyson did not make the backdoor cut that Galloway saw was there. And again, I think Tyson's got to be aggressive on the offensive end. Mitchell. Here's Young. Duke protecting a two-point lead. Proctor back for Young. Turned over. Shefflin had it. Scooped up on the giveaway. Here's Mitchell. And Duke with 17 to shoot. Inside, Filipowski scores. Tough shot. 13 now for Filipowski. Wes, in yet another situation where the Tigers had an opportunity to grab the ball and they couldn't, and Duke makes them pay for it. Hall burns a dribble. Shefflin right back to P.J. Challenged Young, no whistle. Rebound on the backside, Filipowski and the Blue Devils. That's a tough shot. Yep. Really, really intense ball game here. Out front, Grandison. Proctor behind the back, slides down the lane to scoop and score with the right hand. 11 for Tyrese Proctor on his fifth field goal. West, the Tigers had a chance to tie the game and they turned it over. And then they got a defensive stop and they couldn't control the ball. And Dukes made him pay every time. Yeah, the details. Here's Hunter. He's got to try and get on track here in the half. And that rims out from three. Been a struggle. Filipowski's got his eighth double-double with the rebound at the defensive end of the floor. Duke led by as many as eight in the first half. It's six here with five minutes gone. Young fouled as he got to the rim. That'll get us to a timeout here at Little John Coliseum. Foul is going to be on Hunter Tyson, his first, second on Clemson. Blue Devils with free throws and a lot of momentum when we come back. Well, Dan, you've touched on this throughout the ball game here. Chase Hunter, the struggle is real here tonight, but it's been a struggle in ACC play. But he's done such a good job of directing the offense, but the three-point shooting hasn't followed. Now, the three-point shooting hasn't followed, Wes, and unfortunately tonight, the overall shooting hasn't followed. He's only made one field goal, one for eight. He just can't seem to get comfortable, and one of the reasons is the Duke defense has really been pressuring him hard. So the Blue Devils will have Ryan Young at the free throw line where he's 82% as we rejoin you from Little John Coliseum in a sellout house watching the 147th meeting all time between the Tigers and the Blue Devils. Don't forget every Thursday night on ACC Network is Ladies Night. This week, Diamond Johnson, number 11, NC State. Visit Haley Cavender and Miami, 6 o'clock Eastern. Then, Battle of the Blues. Carol Lawson takes her Duke team to Carmichael to see Courtney Banghart's Tar Heels. That's at 8 o'clock. Another great night of women's hoops on ACC Network, always streaming live on the ESPN app. And Wes, we're in another key stretch of the game for the Clemson Tigers. They've got to start battling back now. Beadle thought about the three. He will drive and lively blocked it, but it'll count. Brian O'Connell's going to award Josh Beadle with the basket. That's a really good drive by Beadle, and Lively just had too far to come. 
Very interesting. Beetle drives the ball hard and he goes right by. Good screen by Middlebrooks and Lively just had too far to come. Ball hit the board. Dukes hit four of their last five. Here's Proctor. Six point lead for the Blue Devils. Filipowski. 12 to shoot. Proctor looking for some help. Skips for Filipowski. Three from the right. No good. And the rebound for Beetle. And a foul called on Grandison. Jacob Grandison, who plays in his 142nd collegiate game tonight, draws his first second on Duke. Well, really good view of Shefflin dropping down in to prevent the drive. <laughs> and that's just good scrap by Beadle. You know, if he doesn't hustle after that ball, that's another offensive rebound for Duke. Here's Galloway trying to get in on Proctor. Slapped out by Lively. Galloway stuck with it. Lively goaltended. The third field goal for Brevin Galloway. Well, you got to compliment Galloway's persistence here, taking it into the middle. Filipowski actually blocked it the first time, and that clearly was going down. So nice response by Clemson, four in a row. Now they got to get a stop. Yeah, courtesy of Lively. Proctor behind the shoulder pass. Grandison missed the three. Shefflin beat Lively to the basket. Shefflin backing down on Lively. Here's Middlebrooks. Now, well, thought he was going Galloway. Now he does at the top. Here's Brevin wrapping around two screens. Entry from Middlebrooks, eight to shoot. Takes it in on Filipowski. Up strong, couldn't score it, got the rebound back. Tried to take it back up, draws the foul. And Grandison's drawn another one. His second, it's the third second half foul on Duke. Well, this is really good scrap by Middlebrook. That is a great pivot to get to the basket. And then just like Filipowski, he's able to go and get his own rebound. I actually thought, Wes, he's there in a big crowd and Hunter Tyson was all alone beyond the three-point arc. First of the free throws from Middlebrooks is good. To show you what just player development means, a year ago, Ben Middlebrooks played nine minutes a game against the ACC, averaged 2.2 rebounds. This year, He's playing 14 minutes in conference play, Dan. He's averaging five points and three rebounds. That's just simple freshman, sophomore player development. No question, Wes. And he's really been a valuable, such a valuable guy because he gives P.J. Hall the ability to rest a little bit. Six in a row by Clemson. Cuts it to two. Whitehead. Around the Filipowski screen. Here's Proctor. Ten to shoot. Proctor got caught. Here's Whitehead over Shefflin. Bounds away. Tyson the rebound. Saved it to Beetle. Tigers can tie with a two, lead with a three. Beetle, the spin. Inside challenge. Lively oh, and scored. Oh. oh my goodness. Timeout Duke. Eight nothing run by Brownells Tigers. And the last field goal, courtesy of Agent Zero. Well, with Dan Bonner, West Durham ACC basketball presented by Subway here at Little John, we talked about rebounding being a huge point of emphasis really for both schools coming in. Ironic, offensive rebounds are six each. Well, each team's a good rebounding team, Wes. And one of the things we've been talking about, you can see Hunter Tyson there alongside Mark Mitchell. And one of the reasons that Hunter Tyson is struggling today is Mark Mitchell. Mitchell yeah. has been matched up against him on the defensive end most of the game. Derek White had a little bit as well, but those guys have really created some difficulty on the offensive end for Hunter Tyson. Filipowski calling for the ball against Shefflin. Takes it in, right hand move, fell off the rim, got it back and scored. 15 that's, for Filipowski. That's his third offensive rebound and the third time he's rebounded his own miss. Already the double-double with 15 and 12. Galloway tried to go back door to Tyson, got knocked on the ground. They're going to scrum for the ball, and what are we going to get here? 
We got Middlebrooks and Filipowski. And what do we have out of this? Jump ball. Jump ball. Possession will belong to Clemson. Clemson, yes. We'll take a break. Two point lead for Duke on the second chance points from Filipowski. Back after this. All right, I think you can handle it. We got a full house at Little John looking on in a two point game. Clemson's going to have it on alternating possession. Remember, we went to the timeout with a scrum underneath the Tiger basket. And Ben Middlebrooks is in the middle of the scrum. Middlebrooks yep. has really helped Clemson. Chase Hunter back in the game. He'll put it in play. Here's Hunter Tyson, and there's Mark Mitchell, and there is Shefflin feeding Middlebrooks. Strong to the basket. Offensive foul call. They're going to wave it off. Brian O'Connell, I think, is going to tag Middlebrooks here. Crowd not going to like this at all. And I think the well, question the, is. The, the discussion, I think, is number one, was he in the restricted area? It's a block now. And one for Middlebrooks. Well. So the foul is on Young, not the charge on Middlebrooks. So Middlebrooks to try and put the Tigers in front. Does. Wes, clearly Young is in the restricted area, but Young in that particular situation, he was Middlebrook's defender. He's not a secondary defender. Yeah. Clemson in front on the conventional three-point play. Beetle knocked it away. Young had it, and he was tripped. And there's the foul on Middlebrook's. No, it's on, uh, yeah, Ben. I'm right. His second. Third on Clemson. The Duke foul was on Young. It was his first. There the ball squirts loose, and Young... <laughs> Young just has such great hands. Yeah, he does. The ball's anywhere near him. He's going to get it. Grad student with two years of eligibility left in Durham. Proctor. Beetle has been a factor here in the half for the Tigers. Blakes with five to shoot. Spot up over Shefflin. Good. Tough Boy. shot. First field goal for Jalen Blakes. Blakes is not in the game to give him offense, but boy, he can provide it. He's had a couple of 17-point games this year. He's got four. That's his first field goal. Remember, he was fouled on the three at the end of the half. Here's Hunter. He lost it. Middlebrooks tried to clean it up. Young blocked it. Duke out of there with the scramble. Wes, how many times have we seen Chase Hunter, like, slip slide around yeah. tonight? Blue Devils the one-point lead. Proctor sets for a three. Front rim miss. Shefflin knocked to the deck. Filipowski back cleanly with the offensive rebound and basket. 17 for Kyle Filipowski. I couldn't tell whether that was Mitchell or Young in there for Duke that kept that ball alive. Here's Middlebrooks. Trying to get it to Tyson. Well defended. Now Hunter in the traffic and can't find it dan just uh, just nothing doing for chase hunter tonight clean look tigers trail three 14 rebounds now for filipowski blakes well the sophomore from new jersey's got hunter defending another fall away two and Tyson had a shot. Mitchell got the carom and scores. Duke's now got, what, their last three baskets on the offensive on the chance? offensive rebounding. Yep. That's right, Wes. And again, Tyson, Hunter Tyson had a chance to grab it, and he didn't. Timeout on the floor taken by Brad Brownell's club. With 9.31 to go, Duke has pushed it back to a five-point advantage. Well, Duke withstood that run by Clemson. Clemson came back from an eight-point deficit and eventually took the one-point lead. And now we've got a great response from the Duke Blue Devils. And Wes, you know, we talked with Brad Brownell this morning, and he was very concerned about the offensive rebounding. And Clemson in this particular half, Wes, it's not that they haven't blocked out. It's when they've had the opportunity to grab the ball, they haven't done it. Yep. 
Blue Devils on a 6-0 run. Tigers have gone scoreless in the last two minutes. It's an 8.7 rebound second half for Filipowski. And here are the one and two teams in conference play in rebound margin. And Duke now has got a two rebound advantage on Clemson at 28-26 here with 9.30 to go. But the key is the recent rebounds by Duke West have turned into baskets for the Blue Devils. Second chance points are 12-8, Dan, in this ballgame. And it was 8-6 Clemson at halftime. Yep. Beadle is back on the floor with Galloway, Shefflin, P.J. Hall now after a break, and Hunter Tyson. Well, again, P.J. Hall, they've got to limit his minutes. Tyson for three out front. Front rim miss. They scramble for it. Hall had a crack at it. Knocked it over the inline out of bounds. It will go to the Blue Devils. Well, Hall was blocked out by three different guys. Yep. Tyson couldn't ask for a better look out no, front, Dan. No, And there haven't been many free looks. No, there have not been. And you get the idea that Hunter Tyson, when you finally get a wide open look, maybe you hurry a little bit because you don't know, you're not sure how long it's going to be before the defense gets there. Young working against Hall and trying to direct a little traffic along the way. Here's Mitchell trying to beat Tyson baseline. Mark Mitchell put it on the rim, tried to keep it alive, and Shefflin's out of there with it. Did keep it alive, Wes, but Clemson's finally able to secure that one. Galloway, floater with a right hand, spins oh. around and drops in. Boy, Not sure if he had a few more cracks, he'd make it, but he made that one. That is a tough, tough shot. Nothing you do about that if you're Duke. Blake's baseline. Rebound Tyson. Six rebounds for Hunter Tyson. Shefflin in traffic. Dumps it to Hall, left hand. 22 now for P.J. Hall, Dan. Shefflin looks like he's got a problem with a groin muscle. Proctor all the way through, and he oh. scores. What a shot. 13 now for Tyrese Proctor. Duke by three. How do you keep him out of the lane? Galloway. Tried to go inside and knocked to the ground. Hall. And we get a foul out of there on the Blue Devils. And it is on Ryan Young. Oh, P.J. Hall now, Clemson's leading scorer. He's got 22, Tigers trail three at Little John. Next. 54 51 Duke, ACC Network basketball presented by Subway. Dan, might as well talk the longer term picture of this game. Duke, Joe Lenardi's got him as a five seed this morning. He's got Clemson in as a 10. Hit a winner today in Atlanta. Wake Forest playing tonight at Boston College. Virginia Tech, you know the struggles Mike Young's team had the weekend off. Well, Wes, this is what you're looking at now. You're in conference play. You're in the middle of it, the heat of it. You're looking for good wins, and this would be a great win for Clemson, not only to validate everything they've done so far. Of course, losing wouldn't invalidate what they've done so far. Yeah. But this and they're they're in this game. They're three points down despite the struggles by Hunter Tyson and Chase Hunter. Here is Beetle trying to drive it back. Hall right hand over Young. Well, he hadn't struggled. 24 now for P.J. Hall. Four off his career high. Tigers to within one. They tried to go back door. Turned over. Here's Beetle. Through traffic, Shefflin, skip. Galloway thought about it. Drives, put it up, blocked out of bounds by Young. It'll stay with the Tigers. That was pretty good transition defense by Duke. And this is Galloway with the drive. And again, he's tried to force it a couple of times. Hall against Young in traffic. Here is Beetle. For the lead, Hall the rebound, stolen by Mitchell. Mitchell's wow. a guy who just makes plays. Yep, right? sure does. 
The freshman from Kansas City has had a terrific game and only has three field goals. Filipowski with Shefflin. Proctor, a long three, missed badly. Galloway, three for the lead. Oh -ho! You're right, Mr. Bonner, I shouldn't drive it anymore. I'll just stand out here and launch. That's a confident shooter, Wes. Filipowski, pull up on Shefflin. Air ball. Middlebrooks into the game for Hall. What about Brevin Galloway, Dan? Well, I mean, this is a confident guy. He's got an open look. He struggled shooting the ball today, but he knocks that one down. A very good screen by P.J. Hall. A dozen for Galloway. Beetle. Out front, Middlebrooks. Galloway again. Look out. Works through. Four-point lead for Clemson. Five in a row by Brevin Galloway, and John Shire wants a timeout. Don't forget tonight, following our coverage from the JMA Wireless Dome of the Irish and Orange, it's nothing but net. Kelsey Riggs with national champions around the table. Carlos Boozer, Luke Hancock, Joel Berry. Full highlights, analysis, interviews, and more coming up. That follows Syracuse Notre Dame tonight on ACC Network and on the ESPN app. Big win today in overtime for Kevin Keats and NC State. Carolina a winner at Louisville. Pitt a winner on the road at Georgia Tech, as was Virginia at Florida State, Dan. This league is delivering competitive games. Yes, it certainly is. Well, fifth time Duke has played a 6-0 ACC team in the last 30 years. They are 1-3 in those games. It's amazing that people keep stats like that. Yeah, well, you're talking about Jack Sigma. <laughs> well, he's not a stat, he's a guy. <laughs> Out of the timeout taken by John Shire. Here's Filipowski on the drive against Shefflin. And Lively got it, saved it to Whitehead. Second chance opportunity for the Blue Devils. You get that drive into the lane, you cause the defense to collapse. That creates rebounding opportunity. Proctor had it deflected. Whitehead. Out front, lost it, fouled, Galloway. Third on Brevin Galloway, fourth on Clemson in the half. Wes, you know, Kyle Filipowski has a double-double today as you get a look at this foul here. <laughs> I don't know if anybody can complain about that. But I'm telling you, Ian Shefflin has been, has battled the entire game and is having a heck of a ball game for Clemson. Mitchell twice. Offensive second chance basket for Mark Mitchell gives him eight, Duke to within two. And Wes, how many times have we seen that both from Mitchell and Filipowski? They miss their shot and get their own rebound. Who do these guys think they are? Moses Malone? Unbelievable, isn't it? Middlebrooks. Whitehead tried to help on the hedge. Here's Galloway. Duke's got 14 second chance points. Galloway from the paw. Now he's feeling it. That was a heat check, but he's allowed a heat check. Proctor, Filipowski shoots for the lead. Kept alive, Middlebrooks, Galloway recovers. Really good job by Middlebrooks to tip it away from Lively. What Clemson would do maybe for a Hunter Tyson basket here, Dan. Huh? Galloway will try. Middlebrooks slapped it out of bounds. And he got called for a foul. And he got called for going over the back, I believe, of Proctor. Third on Middlebrooks, five now on Clemson. Wes, and you, it's, you're talking about the fact that they could use a Hunter Tyson basketball. Tyson can't get open. Yeah. But that's a great job by Proctor. Get in there. Lively's in there, but Proctor drops in to help out. 
Tyrese Proctor handles against Josh Beadle. On the drive, shoots strong. Filipowski the rebound, put it back up, foul called. John Shire came firing off the Duke bench. There's the foul on Middlebrooks. It's his fourth with 3.57 to play. So free throws when we come back to Little John. Tigers by two on ACC Network. Dan, we started the game talking about two of the marquee players in the league, Hunter Tyson and Kyle Filipowski. Both have been proficient in double-doubles. Filipowski has got his double-double today. It's been a bit of a struggle, though, for Tyson. It has been for Tyson, Wes. He's got four points, but he's only taken five shots. He just has been a non-factor today. And I, the credit for that goes to the Duke defense. And the other thing we're talking about, with the, we talked about with the Duke rebounding, they have eight offensive rebounds here in the second half. And Filipowski's at the line. Free throw of the day and two tries. Now to tie the game. And it spins out. Recovered Galloway. Chase Hunter's on the floor with Galloway, Hall, Tyson, and Shefflin. Original starters for Brad Brownell. Backdoor cut, Tyson to catch. It fell off the iron. Mitchell bothered it. Mitchell did bother it, and Tyson knew he was there. That's a good play by Clemson, though, to get him open. Proctor to Filipowski, beyond his reach, turned over to Clemson. Hutter. Here's Hall. Galloway's been a threat here. Chase Hunter slow to let the screen develop. Back for P.J. Hall. Back for Hunter and a deep three. Tap follows Shefflin. He battles for it. Last touch lively. It will stay with the Tigers. Shefflin's not flashy, but he is good, Dan. Well, he really battles. This is a great job getting position inside. He gets the inside position, tips it, but can't get it to go, but hangs in there against two bigger guys. Chase Hunter's one for 10 today. Here's Hall squaring on Lively. Nine to shoot. P.J. slips it to Shefflin. Five on the shot clock. Inside scores. Okay, maybe he is flashy. <laughs> Wes, I was just thinking that's not the guy you want to have the ball at the end of the shot clock, but I was wrong. Proctor off the lively screen. Offensive foul. No, it's a block. Was Shefflin in the restricted zone? Well, Wes, he's outside the restricted area, but that doesn't mean that that wasn't a, that wasn't a block. Shefflin, Shefflin, I think, was a little slow getting over there, and I don't think he established his position before Proctor left the floor. Proctor is 89% at the line. He's 33 of 37 on the year. But Wes Shefflin is in the middle of everything. Two shots. Touched by Hall, says Brian O'Connor. I beg your pardon, it was a one and one on the Proctor attempt. 20 to shoot for Duke on a reset. Filipowski blocked by Shefflin. Duke bench wanted a foul, didn't get the whistle. 2.09 to go in Galloway against Whitehead. Here's Hunter. Hall thought about the three on Young. Now Tyson. Galloway on the drive and one.
Russ Galloway just gets a lane and nobody steps in to stop him. Filipowski just waved at him as he went by. First free throws of the day for Galloway. Twelve and a half, 17 in the ball game for Galloway. Mitchell lost it. Clemson ball. Hall back from Middlebrooks. Now Duke going to pressure now. Brevin Galloway. What a second half for him, huh? And Clemson needs it. Yeah, he's got, he's had, got 12 of those points have come in the second half, Wes. Yep. Pressure by the Blue Devils into Hunter. Back for Tyson. Into the front court goes Clemson. Hall. P.J. almost traveled with it. Duke thought he did. Here's Shefflin. On Filipowski. Ian. In traffic, scooped it up, and it went in. My goodness. Eight-point lead, 120 to go. And a hand check foul on Hunter. Tommy Morrissey tickets Hunter for his first. Eight West. on Clemson. One and one coming up. For as I said before, that even though Filipowski's had a big game, Shefflin is playing as hard as you can ask a person to play. And here, there's, he's not intimidated at all. He just takes it against the big guy and somehow wiggles in there to get a basket. Shefflin has been fabulous, despite the fact that the guy he's guarding has a double-double. Young is out. Grandison has come back for Duke. Proctor at the line. One and one for the freshman from... New South Wales. Free throw good. Five and a half, 14 in the ball game for Tyrese Proctor. Well, Young is out because you're looking for quicker guys and you're looking for three point shooters. Now you got to block out here if you're Clemson. And the free throws from Proctor allow Duke to slip into the pressure here. Mitchell will defend the inbounds pass. It's a six point game. And Brian O'Connell on the whistle here. And let's see what happened here. I'm not quite sure what the. Something with the clock. Yeah. So a couple seconds yeah, off the clock. 117 yep. is what he wants on the clock. Yep. That's what happened. You'll see that the. Uh, Clock may have lost a couple seconds. Yep, that's what happened. Inbounds, here's Galloway. Double team. Brevin trying to get out of it, in trouble. Fights through, back go. for Hunter. Into the front court goes Clemson. Double team again. Hunter bounces to Galloway. Quickly to Tyson. Here's Hall and a foul on Filipowski. And John Shire was not looking for Filipowski to foul. And that is seven on Duke with a minute one to go. And it's the fourth on Filipowski. And P.J. Hall at the line. He's got 24 today. And a one and one here, Dan. Wes, I have to say that was a great job by the officials, by Brian O'Connell, to recognize that, that the two seconds went off right. the clock. Nobody else would have known it. I mean, they, they have so much that they have to pay attention to. Here's Hall. Free throw good. Filipowski's got four. Mitchell, Young, Grandison, Lively, two each. But the problem for Duke isn't the fouls at the moment. It's the fact that it's been a while since they've scored a field goal. Second one from Hall. 26 now for P.J. Hall. And he's out. Middlebrooks plays with four. He's in. Duke has not scored in 4.06 from the floor. Dan? Well, you, Wes, you remember in that Boston College game, they went on a long 
field goal drop. They were able to come back and win that one. Middlebrook's playing with four, Proctor at three. Back rim miss, long rebound, battle four, Tyson's got it. And Middlebrook's, Middlebrook's is just fouled out. Ben Middlebrooks is going to foul out with seven points with 47.9 left to go on Clemson's ninth team foul. Boy, this is quite the scramble here. <laughs> he nearly runs him over. Yep. He's, he's another guy, Wes, who's had a really good game. Second time Middlebrooks has fouled out. First time in conference play. I think we're looking at a clock situation here. Yep. And Proctor will go back to the line. No, I take that back, Wes. They were looking to see who was the person who got fouled. It was Proctor. Yeah, it was Proctor. Yep. So this will be a one and one for Proctor on the ninth foul against Clemson. <laughs> and Middlebrook is standing over there telling P.J. Hall that he can't come in the game yet because it's uh, there's two fouls. Yeah. And Brad Brownell saying, you got five fouls. And so the referees get him out of the game. Yep. One and one for Proctor. Got it. Tyrese has now hit three in a row. And Middlebrooks is out. Galloway and Shefflin, three each. Seven point Clemson lead. And got a block out here. Made them both. Presses on again for the Blue Devils. Huh. Inbounds to Hunter. Chase will bounce it front court. Here's Tyson and a Duke foul. And it's on Filipowski. And that is five on Kyle Filipowski. So Kyle Filipowski, the terrific freshman, fouls out for the second time this year and for the first time in ACC play. Well, Wes, he played really hard. You can't ask. Asked the young man to do much more than he did today. Nope, 18 points, 14 rebounds. And here is Hunter Tyson at the line, the third best free throw shooter in the ACC on the eighth foul against Duke. One thing I'll say about Filipowski, Wes, he had those 18 points, but on 22 field goal attempts. Yep. First one by Tyson is good. He's got five. As we're talking about with Filipowski, he scored 18 points, but again, he took 22 shots because Ian Shefflin made it really difficult sure did. for him. Second one. Back rim miss, seven-point game. Now you've got to defend the three now. Proctor. Galloway trying to help. Knocked it away. Proctor going to drive and feed Young. And what do we got? Offensive foul. Proctor on the drive. How about that? Chase Hunter, Dan, ninth foul on Duke, no free throws on player control. Well, Proctor drives into the lane, and Clemson does a really nice job covering up these areas. And look how far Proctor flies through the air. You got a jump stop in there to make the pass. Into Hunter, there's a double team and another Duke foul. That's on Blakes. So Jalen Blakes draws his second. That is 10 on Duke. So two shots on the common foul in the final 30.6. Well, Duke, you know, they've done a really good job holding teams under their scoring average, but Clemson looks like they're going to get to theirs in ACC play today. John Shire's got one timeout left. Hunter's got his fourth point. In conference play, Hunter comes in Shooting 28 for 30 from the line, so he's a guy you like to have there. Both of them. And again, Wes, if you're Clemson, all you're doing is defending the three. Here's Proctor against Beetle. Step back, fires, and misses badly. Blakes recovers, and that's a block called on Shefflin. And Ian Shefflin draws his fourth. That is 10 on Clemson. 
with 18.9 left, but we're going to have a pair of free throws here. We're going to have a pair of free throws, and again, Duke is having a hard time, excuse me, Clemson's having a hard time securing that defensive rebound. And Shefflin just, you know, once he, you have to establish your position, and then you can't slide once the guy leaves the ground. You have to have that established before the guy leaves the ground. So the foul on Shefflin, his fourth, and Duke, I believe, has taken their last time out here. No, there's still one time out left. No, the, uh, the officials are going over to the to clock. Look at right, the thank clock. you. Real quick, let me remind you, those of you looking for Syracuse Notre Dame tonight with Jay Alter and Malcolm Huckabee, it's going to start for you on the ESPN app, and we will get you to Central New York on a Saturday night as soon as we're done here at Little John Coliseum. And Dan, we talked about how big this Saturday would be in the ACC. The Miami NC State renewal of a terrific game the first time. Wolfpack wins that. Miami five and two. Virginia win today, they're five and two. So's Pitt at five and two. Duke trying to join them. Clemson trying to get to seven and oh. Well, West Clemson has never been six and oh in the ACC. So obviously they've never been seven and oh in the ACC. This has been a fun league. Oh yeah, 21 and a half to play is where we settled on the clock. Our ACC basketball presented by Subway here is Jalen Blake's first of two, no good. All right, we got to block out. Second one by Blake's is good. That allowed Duke to press. Blake's has five in the game now. Eight point game with 21.5 left. Inbounds, here's Hunter. Chase fires across the floor. Beatles breaks the timeline. Here's Tyson. Duke has to foul, and Mitchell will. And Hunter Tyson will go to the line on Mitchell's third foul with 12.3 to go. And this sellout crowd at Little John. Dan has been treated to one of the best games the ACC staged so far this year. I don't think there's any question about that, Wes. And if you doubted Clemson, just understand that, Wes, they came back in this game. They were down eight a couple of times, and they came back in this game, and they're going to win with subpar performances from Hunter Tyson, a subpar performance from Chase Hunter. But they got great contributions off the bench from Middlebrooks, from Beadle, and Ian Shefflin. I mean, what more can you say about him? He's, Free throw by Tyson. He's been fabulous. Yep. Brad Brownell has talked a lot about the depth and the chemistry of his basketball team. And you saw all those cards today come into play here. Second one good. It's a 10-point game. Seven points for Hunter Tyson. Proctor. Deep three. And we're going to get a whistle and a foul on Hunter under the basket with 5.1 left. <laughs> Keep an eye on Chase Hunter and Ryan Young. Chase Hunter right in the middle now, of your screen. <laughs> I would say that's a foul. <laughs> and Young's free throw good. Five and a half for Young, nine in the ball game. Second foul on Chase Hunter. Weston, all you have to do here is get it inbound. Right. And there you don't it have is. to worry about advancing the ball. And Clemson is going to go to 7 and 0. They are 15 and 3. And the final is 72 to 64 and Brad Brownell's 400th career win, Dan. Well, Wes, and how appropriate can it be? Brad Brownell's always based everything on his defense. They helped Duke without a field goal for the last five minutes and seven seconds of this game. So the Tigers win for the seventh straight time, the 13th straight time here at Little John Coliseum. P.J. Hall, terrific for Clemson, 26 points. 17 for Brevin Galloway, including a big 12-point effort in the second half. Stay tuned. Notre Dame and Syracuse coming up.
Dan, we were treated to a heck of a basketball Boy, game. Great basketball game, great atmosphere, Wes. Thanks to our producer, Kurt Sutton, and our terrific ACC Network crew. Wes Durham from Little John Coliseum. Clemson is an eight-point winner over Duke. Stay tuned. Here's Jay Alter and Malcolm Huckabee from Syracuse.